Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Sabrina's Healthy and Whole. Um, before we can um before we go any further, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe, and set your notification button so you can re um receive notification when I drop another video. So I just want to do some housekeeping. One, you see that I'm in my car because um I just watched the episode from Married to Medicine yesterday and it's fresh in my mind. So I just want to make sure I give you my fresh thoughts on it. Um so I'm trying I'm I'm trying to be consistent with either I drop the video either on Sunday night or Monday morning, depending. I was waiting for Dr. Heavenly to drop her video so I could get some more insight on the episode, but she didn't. So here we go. Um, two, y'all may receive two videos because uh, High Swives of Potom Potomac is coming on premiering next Sunday. So I'm also doing a review on that. I'm going to start that. So yeah. So this is Married to Medicine. This is their 150th episode. So congratulations, ladies, and the Married to Medicine group on your 150th episode. So with this episode, it started off with Quad and Elena. Elena and I will get her name right. I will get her name right one day. Um, they, uh, they met up and they was talking. And Quad came in to tell her about the um, party that... that Dr. Jackie through that they called her in on on FaceTime, Zoom, whatever it was. Um, now, in this episode, I thought they was cute. Their outfits was cute and everything. So they was really, really cute in this outfit. Elena was saying that um uh Elena was saying that um that they have security cameras everywhere because every time somebody moved, it was a ding. <laughs> like dang quiet like um how, what's going on so i guess it makes them makes her feel comfortable with hearing the ding which i can understand because when you're like i said when your house get violated like that you don't feel comfortable at all not in your own home so that made her feel comfortable and i guess it made her family feel comfortable she was saying um quiet was telling elena, elena that uh what the ladies was saying and um that dr simone was laughing the whole time that she was being grilled by dr contessa which i don't necessarily think that she was being grilled that you know what i'm saying but dr contessa had um probably had some questions especially if she haven't talked to her since the whole robbery so she had questions and i don't feel like that it was a i don't feel like it was a grill it was just some questions i probably asked him like dang really so and you left your weather ring and did you have security cameras you didn't have, like, why wasn't your security, like, I would ask questions too. Um, so Quad came in, was telling her, like, the whole, giving her the gyps. And, and Elena was upset that Dr. Simone was laughing. But you know Dr. Simone laughing. Dr. Simone is kind of messy, so she laughs. Yeah. And she makes the situation a little bit more worse by laughing. But, yeah. And I think I'm kind of Dr. I'm kind of like Dr. Simone, because if I find something funny, I'm going to laugh. I will try my best not to, but I will. But yeah, um, Quad also brought up during the whole conversation that the whole rumor about Toya. And again, I feel like Toya has did not cheat or has not cheated on her husband. And I feel like Toya did not set up the robbery. And um, Quad said that the ladies feel like that Elena set up the robbery herself, which I think I don't think that's true. That's just my opinion. Now, it may come now. It may come out later on down the line sometime next year that she could have set it up or Toya could have been a part of it. I don't know. But at the what uh, as I stand right now, I don't think neither one of them had anything to do with it. Uh, with setting up the robbery for Elena to get robbed herself or for Toya to rob you know, to, to set up her house. Um so yeah, and uh, Elena felt some type of way. She was salty that Toya did not check up on her after the robbery. Now, if you're not friends, if y'all not cool, y'all not cool co-workers, y'all don't like each other, now why would somebody come check up on you if they don't like you? I mean, it would be at a good gesture. It would have been nice. It would have been a nice thing to do, especially if y'all live in the same neighborhood, but she don't have to she didn't have to she didn't have to come check up on you or anything of that nature um so yeah um, yeah she didn't have to um but i don't know what she thought 
<laughs> I don't know what she thought Toya was going to do. Like, Toya don't care. And Toya's, she lived a, a nice, lavish lifestyle for a long time, but she still got some hood in her. She still got some of that Detroit, that Detroit in her. So she kind of hood and, you know, since something that comes out. Um, so they went to the scene where Dr. Jackie um, and Dr. Simone and their husbands was together to plan a trip for the girls, a couple's trip. And the, this trip is mainly for the girls to give back um, in a good vibe, in a good space. Because I guess they did this before, um, early on. Um, and married to medicine. Um, they went to, and they feel like that was a good time. So they want to do it again. Um, so, so the girls could get back in a good space. You know what I'm saying? Remove all the negativity. Okay. Let's see how that works out. Um, now, Elena, I, I want to ask, like, why? Why are you not leaving Miss Gomez alone? Why is it so hard? For you to function without Miss Gormez, um, because Miss Gormez tired. Now you come in and you bring you you offering big buku, you offering everything that she you know what I'm saying she wants to come back. So she like okay, I'll come back. But and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having a nanny because when I get it, I'm going to have a nanny. I will have a nanny to help out with certain things. Um, not raise my kids, but help out with certain things. Um, but you also have to look at Mrs. Gormez is on the other hand, you have to look at it that Mrs. Gormez has been with that family since their son was born. So they've been there. They are used to a certain lifestyle. They're used to a certain way of living with a nanny. So I guess it was hard for them to adjust otherwise. Um, but yeah. Why bring back Miss Gormez? <laughs> she tied. <laughs> she tied. But yeah, she brought back Miss um, Gormez. Um so uh on Twitter, somebody said that they never heard about Toya, the whole cheating rumors, which is true. I have not heard anything about Toya cheating but again i'm not in those streets i'm not in that sector i'm not in that space to for, for that type for me to hear it so i ain't never heard it now dr contessa she did her thing she did her thing she got her body together even as she she lapsed in the vegas and ate some of everything that she wasn't supposed to she came back strong and got her body together that lady looked good she got her body together and she won her first competition. So congratulations to Dr. Katessa on that. That's a great, that's, that, that, I know that's hard and there's a lot of dedication. So congratulations to you on that. And I love that she had her family to support her and her dad like, that's my baby. He was proud of her. Like she was walking across that stage again, a PhD, <laughs> but that was cute. I liked it. That, that was cute. Um, now quad is on the phone with Audra. And she mentioned that um, because they're going on a trip, so they talking about the trip. She's like, well, how you going to feel about um, seeing Toya? Um, so, oh, she's like, well, this is going to be the first time you've seen Toya since she attacked you. Now, Quad, I like you. You're messy. But I like you. Toya did not attack that lady. Um, Audra came up to her face. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Audra, so don't you know? Don't get it twisted. I like I like all the ladies. Um, this how I see it. Audra walked up to her face and chest bumped her. I don't know where you from, but where I'm from, you can't even come straight to somebody's face like that, that close, really, into somebody's face without getting knocked out. So Toya, I feel like Toya restraining herself, or she like I have to. I'm, I'm on TV. I'm filming, and all she did was muff her. Or smusher, however y'all say it. So, Toy, she, Audra didn't. Audra was an attack. Um, Toya was protecting her space because Audra came up all in her square, in her personal space, and in her face, which she was wrong. Everybody could agree she was wrong. If you don't agree with it, oh well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yes, yeah, that girl was not attacked. Um, now Audra mentioned that she got married. And she had a three-day um, celebration. Why we didn't see not one of those three days of celebration? 
I would love to have seen it because I feel like um, African um, weddings are so pretty. Their whole attire, everything, the whole setup is pretty. Um, but I feel like we should have, why we didn't see it? Um, give me one second. And it looked beautiful from little clips that they showed, um, shown on, on, on this, on this past episode. So now they are at the cabin. Um, the house is beautiful. The scenery is beautiful. Yeah. Um, Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone assigned rooms, which I think was a good idea because y'all know what all these type of trips the ladies go fighting for the best room but yeah but they assign uh, they assign rooms um um they put dr contessa on blast <laughs> saying that when her and her husband do to do they're allowed so <laughs> dr contessa they put you on blast so they you loud um um, Toya came in. She was the first one that came in. And um, she did, like, Toya already seemed, she she had her guards up. And Dr. Jackie said, uh, <laughs> you came in with your stink to dank energy, <laughs> which I, I thought was funny. But she came in with her in, with her guards up, which I feel like she have every right to because she's being, Toya's being attacked from all angles. She's, you know, not being attacked. Um, I'll take that back. Not being attacked. She's being, um, there's, she got, stuff coming from all angles whether she whether to, if toya caused it or not she still got you know what i'm saying um so they sat down and talked to toya to give her you know what i'm saying a whole talked about about the whole trip um now some people on twitter felt like that it was wrong with dr jackie um to hold toya dr jackie and dr Simone to hold toya uh, responsible for other people actions or people feelings i don't um and they said that uh, why they lecturing toya and not everybody else i just felt like because toya was the first one there they talked to her first i don't think that they they just singing her out i think it's for everybody in the group they're given to me that's what it feel um that they was giving that whole talk to just to you know to set the tone it wasn't just toya it was it just so happened that she it was so happened that she was there first um and even toya she wrote this off twitter saying that um why are y'all dr jackie and dr Simone, expecting so much from me even saying i i'm at odds when in reality the other ladies are at odds with me um i feel that but Toya, you have to understand, you are the common denominator in a lot of these things. So you may not cause every single altercation, but you did cause some of it. So you have to step back, Toya, and look like what part did I take partake in this? Because you did partake in the whole lot. And some of them are some altercation you are responsible for so you have to take responsibility for that toya um and i'm speaking like as if i don't know if she will ever see this video i don't know so yeah so that was that um dr heavenly so the late people are starting to come in dr heavenly came in she's walking around you could tell that dr heavenly still is because her mom had just passed it showed in the, the episode before that so it's still fresh you know what i'm saying and you can tell in her face that she's still She's mourning and she's sad and everything. So, yeah. So Dr. Heavenly walked up to um was walking around and she apologized to Toya. She apologized to jo Toya for her actions. Now let me tell you, I don't know how much because Dr. Heavenly has apologized before, but she go back to the same thing. But one thing about Dr. Heavenly, she owns up to her actions. She owns up to her words. When you remind her that she did say it, she, you know, says she like, yeah, I said it. And she, she takes responsibility for what she has done. So, and then Toya, um, was compassionate. She like, um, she would have been an a-hole, um, if she wasn't because of the whole situation of her mom passing. So that was nice of Toya. So Toya, um, I kind of feel bad for Toya up to this episode because like I said, she has a lot of things coming 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 at her and again some of them she bought on herself and some of them she probably didn't i don't know um but yeah yeah um 
Toya is a freak. She told me she want to go to a nudist. So um, I don't know why is that surprising to me. I, I I feel like I heard that before that she's a freak. But yeah, she's a freak. She want to go to a who wants a seat? No, never mind. Um, one second. Now Audra on this episode, they found out that they're pregnant. So congratulations, which we already seen it already, and then we could tell in this, in the um, how you call it, in the confessional, that you are pregnant, and we already seen on social media by now that you are carrying, you having a baby boy. So congratulations on that. Um, their whole reaction is cute. So this is her, this is Audra's second child, but her husband's first child. So I know he is excited, like he's about to be a dad, and they got busy right after they got they got it cracking. <laughs> right after the wedding um because they was abstinent uh abstinent for a whole month i guess before ab before they got married so they say um yeah i mean yeah they said it was abstinent for a whole month so and they i guess they want to ha start having kids right after which i would have thought like being newlyweds that you would want to at least wait a year to have a kid but they decided that they wanted to have a kid right off the bat. So congratulations to y'all on that. Elena, Elena, Elena and her husband came in afterwards. Um, and they got a room. She like, well, I don't feel comfortable. The, the thing is up. He easily just pulled down. I want to say that she's dramatic, but I don't want to say that because she went, she had an experience. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. So she don't feel comfortable at all with windows being up. She don't feel comfortable. She like, where's the camera? I'm like, really? But like I said, you got to give her some time to, you know what I'm saying? Something happened and she has to get through it on her own way. So, um, uh, give me one second. Now, uh, Dr. Eugene, throughout the episode, and I forgot that he could cook, but he has cooked, and everybody like the food is good. Other episodes, other season, um, and when he made that steak uh, for his um, to help his son with his son birthday dinner, that looked good, and he made lasagna, everybody like it was good. So, I would need for Dr. Eugene to put out a cookbook. I tweeted that last night. And Cecil said, well, he won't share the recipe. I'm like, well, that sucks. Why are you being stingy, Dr. Eugene? Why are you being stingy? Why are you being stingy? Share with the world. Share with the world. And you have to look at it like this. You put out a cookbook, that's another stream of income. For you and your family. Not the, And I'm not... And I'm, I'm not I'm going to say that's another stream of income. So that can help with you spending less time in the hospital you could probably cut down on some time when that's you know what i'm saying another stream of income coming in you cut down some time in the hospital so you have more time with your family i'm just saying and then when you do bring when you i feel like you're gonna have that cookbook so when you do i'm talking to eugene and toya so when you do bring out that cookbook or make that cookbook i would like a signed copy from you and your wife please thank you and then the episode ended with um them at the dinner table um and to, and and Dr. Heavenly asked Elena, Elena, how she's doing, and she was like, "Now you know, what I'm saying she's getting through it." And then she like, "I have one question for everybody. Do you feel like this was a setup?" And Toya totally like, "I don't even know you." <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> "Never mind." We understand how people get on the show sometimes, and you know what I'm saying. And the people don't really know each other; they just like, oh. She lived down the street from me, so and she's on the show, so then that's how they bring it on. But she like, I don't even know you. I thought that was funny. So I'm like, uh-oh, it's going to go down next episode. Hopefully, you know, saying that it's going to go down next episode. And I hope that, um, I hope that Audra apologized to Toya if she hasn't during the season, that she apologized or that she had apologized to Toya for her actions after she seen seen what she done wrong. And my question is, I don't want to have any other the other ladies apologize to each other after they see the footage of what happened. Because sometimes when things happen in, in that moment, we perceive one thing and another thing actually happens. So I wonder if has that ever happened. But anyway, that's just that is my take on it that's the end of my review 
I'm trying to get these reviews down a little shorter. It's, it's a little lengthy, lengthy, but if you made it to this far, thank you so much for watching my review for thought for Married to Medicine, and y'all have a great day.